Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. It's Friday when we're filming this. I feel like a cocktail and I'm not screaming this out loud because I'm gonna try something a little bit special. I'm not saying that it's too special not to share with Danielle, but I'm kind of saying that because I really wanna make sure that... Hi. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Got my glass, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> you do have your glass. <laughs> uh, so there's no excuses for me. It's five o'clock on a Friday. You have your glass. Yep. And this is this is probably going to be an easy one. We. This is probably going to shock you, but we don't need shakers. We don't need recipes. We don't even need ingredients. Awesome. Straight to the glass. Do you know what we're talking about today? Booze. Yeah. Let me get it. This is how fast it is. Okay. Watch this. From the time that I can actually go over here. Uh -huh. That's the freezer. Hey, I like that. The drink is mixed. Ooh, instantaneous. Yeah. This is, um, first of all, thanks to Harris Thomas of Dressing yes. Like Bond who got Thank this you, for us. Uh, right directly when we were in London, London. right? Mm -hmm. My gosh. And this is the Vesper Martini created with Alessandro Palazzi. Great man. Where's he from? Duke's Bar. He is. Well, from... I mean, originally he's from Italy, I'm assuming, but. He is. He's got that wonderful accent. And we got to talk a little bit about what we have here. Yes. Um, while we're doing that, I'm just going to give it one shake. But literally, it says you don't need anything but, oh, we forgot our lemon. Cut. <laughs> Lemon peel has been procured. It has been. Yes. Look, it, it's been a long week. Yes. We can't be responsible for every detail. But what I would do is do what Alessandro does, and he just goes around the rim, right? Is it with that well, side? I think, well, I think pour it, you first pour it in, and then you give it a little squeeze. Right, and then you and go then around. You okay, all right. Around the rim. It's hard to remember everything that Alessandro did because he's irreplaceable, wouldn't you say? I mean, he could just come here. That'd be great. I know. All right, so we'll leave off yeah. this for now. And as I'm doing this, this little bit of description on here. You know what? I have an idea. Ah. They've got a really fancy video. Uh -huh. Before I even pour this, let's, okay. let's check out the video. It's only about a minute. Intermission. Introducing the number three gin, Vespa Martini. It's our ready-to-pour version of the classic, containing the world's best gin, vodka, bitters, and vermouth as smooth and suave as the spy who named it. It's guaranteed to hit the mark every time. The Vespa Martini is one of the most popular cocktails at Jukes Bar. It's a complex martini with the perfect balance of flavors. The inspiration came from the novel Casino Royale. We use an English vermouth in honor of the writer, and then a Polish vodka. The spy who inspired him to write about Vespa was a Polish lady. And then number three, classic London dry gin, six botanical, that's what you need in a good Vespa. And then finish with an organic orange peel, so as you drink it, the sweetness of the aroma comes to your nose. Duke's Bar is renowned around the world for the martini. It was the first bar to actually serve the martini with a frozen glass on the trolley in front of the customer. And this is why martini aficionados like to come to Duke's. Creating the perfect Vespa Martini requires the perfect gin base, number three. Together, we've created an effortless serve to bring the Duke's Bar experience to your home. The number three Vespa is best served ice cold. Simply take it from the freezer and pour into a frozen martini glass. Garnish with a twist of orange to really amp up those citrus notes in the gin. And we're back. You're like, pour the damn thing already. Um, so this is supposed to be as smooth and as suave as the spy who named this cocktail. What's the spy's name? Uh, yeah. Could you James Bond? Oh my gosh, this is so cold. It's straight <laughs> out of the freezer. I'm glad you're holding it. You don't even need a shaker. Yeah, I'm dying here. And they worked with the world famous bartender, like we said, Alessandro, who is the man. Should I measure this? Or just... These are really big glasses. That's good. Yeah. These are, these are huge you can glasses. You always go back for more. Um, and it's to, their, it's to Alessandro's standards, so Duke's standards. Basically, the finest vodka, uh, the finest vermouth. Is that about right? And the gin. And, of course, the number three gin, which is... Amazing. You've become addicted to I it. I do. I love it. And, unfortunately, we can't find it in we, our area. We'll leave yeah. this out. Um, okay. Now we do the little... Do the little... Twist thing. Yeah, twist. Little zest. And then just a little around the rim. You're doing this so much better than me. Okay. 
All right, yours is definitely prettier than mine. Mine looks like a science experiment. And literally, that's supposed to be it. So cheers. cheers. Happy Friday. It smells good. And Alessandro even says, like, you want to get that aroma in every taste. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, so smooth. So there should be certain tasting notes, but I never show you what the tasting notes are. <laughs> what What are you picking up in here? Botanicals. Cheater. How many? Six. I was miswalled. There's six. <laughs> hey, when that happens. Uh, so you should be taking up like a bit of sweet orange. Yeah, citrus for sure. Yeah. Bright mm -hmm. citrusy notes. What about that fragrant juniper? Like Jay Peterman. I guess that's, that's part of the botanicals, right? It is. And mm -hmm. it's supposed to end with a hint of spice. I do. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm thinking like, I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be there, but yes, I do. I taste that. But am Almost I creating? Almost cinnamony or something. Thank you. Okay. So okay. I'm tasting, I, I could swear that I'm tasting almost like a vanilla cinnamon yes. type thing. Mm -hmm. But this is delicious. It is very good. It actually, very smooth. it's bringing me back to like Duke's bar a little bit. A little too drinkable. It's too drinkable. We got it. We got to slow it down. All right. So, hmm. I did something for us, so we yes. do slow it down. Okay. Because it's really bad to drink on an empty stomach. Oh. Geez. I got crunchies. <laughs> I, they have crunchies at Dukes. <laughs> they do. And they have these beautiful green olives, which we have here mm. as well. So we can help ourselves to those. Thank you. That'll help uh, coat the stomach. As we're doing this, um, mm. let me tell you about the company. Um, and I'm so cheating. Uh, first of all. When we say right out of the freezer, three hours or more, you take it out, you pour it, mm. and that's it. I mean, you literally have the perfect Duke's Vesper here in Pennsylvania or wherever you're drinking it, which is insane. I love it. It's You know what's great, too? I'm tired. It's been a long work week. Yes, it has. Friday afternoon finally hits, and you're like, oh, thank God. The last thing you want to do is mix yourself a complicated drink, right? So yes. would you I usually rather have just you like mix me up a complicated drink? <laughs> right. She's good. Which is fine. And I don't yeah. mind doing it. Yeah. But this one is like it you just no thinking. You just grab it out of the freezer, you pour it in your glass, and you enjoy it. It's so good. Oh. And so this took Berry mm. Brothers and Rudd, which is one of London's oldest wine and spirit merchants. Mm. I think they were like established in sixteen ninety eight or something like mm. that. What? Yeah, the, well, the text is very small. That's why wow. I'm thinking it's 1698. But That's um, a long time ago. it took them 730 days to come up with the number three gin. That's wow. how specific they were. They wanted to get really technical about it. There's, like we said, six botanicals are weighed at the right level. Mm -hmm. um, supposedly, and I'm going to pick this up because I want to get all this right. Uh, they're added to a still. They're steeped for 16 hours in pure grain spirit. Ah, all right. The next day, the distillation begins. That takes seven hours. Then they have a master distiller come in and collects the heart of the distillate. That's where they go, Kalima, Kalima, Kavya Hadindi. Heart of the distillate. I don't know what that means. I don't either. They triple check the gin. I think that's by drinking it. Is that why they call it the number three? That's all. She should be the marketer. I was just guessing. Mm -hmm. And then the difference is in the details because this is it's it they do all of this in a 100 year old brick encased copper pot still from holland which as you know wow is the home of gin cheers did you know that holland was the home of gin no i, I think always thought you, london i think you thought your or home in, was the home of gin that's become mm. <laughs> now what are these crunchy things mm. really this is veggie straws so lame <laughs> Can't repl replicate it perfectly, but what do you now? Be, let's be let's be honest. Okay. Let's not. First of all, we didn't get this for free. You know, Harris. Well, actually, we did. Harris bought it for us. <laughs> Thank you, Harris. But he's not a sponsor of ours. No. But does it taste exactly like the Duke's Vesper Martini? Well, to be extremely honest, I don't think I've ever ordered the Vesper Martini at Duke's. I've usually had something else because I find them extremely strong and very big. <laughs> And usually yes. we have other things going on that day. Like I, they would fill this up. Oh, I, it's it's a very generous drink. Yeah. And um, also the whole pomp and circumstance of Alessandro coming with the cart and giving the whole story. And it is amazing. He puts amazing. the bitters and in there and he talks about... Every little 
component that he puts in there, it's it's completely discussed and uh, the whole history behind it, and it's so much fun, and I love. I love all of um, yeah. the way that he wrap, wraps all that up. So it's just, it's great. I, um, I think I think that's my point is that this is the next best thing. Oh, absolutely. To Alessandro literally being here in our kitchen on a Friday can we night. Can that happen? I think we can. <laughs> can we import him? Uh, for our anniversary, absolutely. <laughs> Alessandro would love to come and stay here. We have a guest room. That's all we're saying. But, but reality-wise, there's the surrounding, there's the pomp and circumstance. Yeah, and Dukes is... A beautiful place. It's a beautiful environment. He and... comes over with a cart, usually yeah. with an assistant, yeah. and he's he's pouring the he's telling stories about the Polish vodka and the Polish woman from Fleming Stories. Yeah. He's a storyteller, and so you and I can tell a good story, but Alessandro, yeah, da man, he's amazing. But you know, if you're not in London, you're not at Dukes. Um, I I think this is this is a really wonderful thing to have and again i think the thing i like most about it is you don't even have to measure you know there's you're yes. tired and you just want to drink <laughs> you pop open the bottle you pour it in and, and you're ready to go and this is probably is good really for nice. we got two out of here probably about six six more i would say no, six more mm. yeah because it, i mean it doesn't these are very big glasses these are very big glasses i mean this you know you wouldn't want much more than this you want to we're not taking our time because we're trying to taste it and describe it to you so mm. it's it's a little bit of a cheat the first one's going down very quickly mm. well it's been a long week it has been a long week we keep saying that because it's true <laughs> but um one of the things that i like about this is can you guess how many times mm. and you get to you get to have the, your drink if you get mm. this right how many times the number three gin uh, was named the world's best gin? Oof. How long have they been around? Long time. But I don't know how long number three's been around, but um, the company's been around for a long time. I, Paul Rudd, I think that's their name. No, it's Paul Rudd. not that. It's not. They've been around since 1698. <laughs> but the, but the, the eight, number oh, three gin number three. won uh -huh. world's best how many times? I don't know. You let me know. Oh, me. four. Four. Yeah. That's pretty good. I just that's, know it's become one of my favorite gins. That's a lot. I do like it. Yeah, you were drinking in London, right? Mm. And then we had a couple bottles come here, mm. disappear. They disappeared quickly. Yeah. I am getting that spicy note. What is that flavor? It's not cinnamon. It's like a, maybe like a clove or a cardamom or... It, all it says is vodka vermouth. It's got to be the bitters. <sighs> the bitters. It's got to be the bitters. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's Berry Brothers and Rudd. Not Paul Rudd. Named Isn't Sexiest named, Man. Yeah. Is that okay for you? I do. I like that. Yeah, good choice. Why? Because he he has he's cute, but he also has a sense of humor. He doesn't take himself too seriously. I'll buy that. Sense of humor is good. Yeah. Yeah. You need a sense of humor. I think a sense of humor takes me from a four to a, a four and a half. Because <laughs> of my sense of humor. <laughs> you make me laugh. My so. self-deprecating humor. Well, this is great. Um, so, verdict. Yay? Nay? Yay? Oh, I love it. Major yay. And I never thought Paul Rudd would come up in this conversation. <laughs> we never do. You never know what you're going to get out of this. That's well, listen, funny. we're going to actually have a real cocktail without the camera on. Yeah. And relax. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much for Sounds doing good. this, sweetie. Yeah, I always like doing these, especially so when nice. there's food or drink involved. I know. What's the next one? Chocolate? What we got? Ooh, I like chocolate. Something savory? Mm -hmm. You let me know. Okay. I'll, I'll let show you up. Know. So, this, <laughs> she will. Ooh, she's like the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Just bring us up. This has been... Danielle Zaritsky. Oh, and David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Cheers. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.